been a week and a half since I last vlog so it honestly feels like ages and I'm excited to get back into it. It's Wednesday today so I'm starting this vlog a little bit later as well because I only got back from Italy yesterday. I was there from Saturday till Tuesday and it was the best break I could have asked for. The weather was gorgeous, we went on some lovely day trips, ate some good food of course and most importantly because I had had blocked out that time on my Easter plan. I had scheduled no work to do during that time. I could really relax without feeling guilty, which I don't think I've been able to do in a very long time because it always feels like there's something I should be doing. And of course, if I wanted to, there would have been work that I could have done when I was there. But the fact that I know that I've planned out everything for when I get back meant that I could just take a step back for a few days. And I'm so glad that I did because I've come back feeling so refreshed, so well rested. And that is exactly what I need because the next three and a half weeks or so are gonna be so intense because my dissertation is due on the 11th of May. And I essentially have to write the whole thing because I've got a lot of notes here and there. I've got a draft of the first three chapters, but nothing cohesive, nothing put together, nothing that flows. And I'm pretty much rewriting the first three chapters as well, because since doing that, things have slightly changed. I did stuff in my data analysis that I didn't speak about in my literature review, etc., etc. So the days in the library might be a little bit longer. My routine might go out the window a bit, but it's only temporary and before we know it, it will all be over. This morning, I've got a few kind of random things on though. Firstly, I'm meeting a friend for coffee, although I haven't actually met her yet, but hopefully a new friend. Then I've got a workshop with YouTube and then from midday onwards is serious dissertation library time. So yeah, I'm excited to be back. I'm excited for vlogging. I'm excited to just finally get this dissertation done. So hopefully it'll be a productive start to half of this week. <laughs> fresh household as you can see. I've just had to pop back because my HelloFresh is getting delivered and my housemates and no one else was in. So I'm gonna unpack this now, have an early lunch and then head back to uni for a focused afternoon in the library. We'll probably have to do a little bit past five to actually get what I wanted to do done today, but that is okay because we've had a chiller morning, so balance. <laughs>
anyway this is a little bit of an awkward angle but it's gonna have to do it's somehow 20 to 9 and i don't know where my evening has gone i left the library at 6 cooked myself dinner i've done some social media stuff and now i finally have time to chill i think i'm probably just gonna pop the office on and i've actually finished my book so maybe i'll start a new book i just finished reading this on the plane yesterday it's maybe in another life by taylor jenkins reed and i'm a massive taylor jenkins reed fan i loved evelyn hugo malibu rising all of that series of books but this i wasn't obsessed with it was okay and i liked the concept of it it just didn't really keep me that hooked or that interested but it was a quick easy enjoyable read so if that's what you're after then I guess I would recommend it. On my social media recently, I shared that Sid and I got some very exciting news about our living situation after uni. So I thought I'd talk a little bit more about that, even though I'm not gonna give a whole lot of detail away because I do wanna mainly keep it as a surprise. But the vague plan is that we're moving abroad. We're not actually staying in the UK, at least for now. And we're moving to different places for a few months at a time so kind of doing what I did when I was on my study abroad year but I'm not studying and I'm not there for a year. The news that we got the other day was that we signed a short-term rental agreement for our first location for three months. So we'll be moving to that destination at the start of August till the end of October. And then after that, we've got a few ideas for other places that we might go to, but nothing else is confirmed yet. So it's definitely gonna be an interesting journey and I'm so excited excited to start sharing it with you as soon as we get to that point. The plan is definitely not very conventional and I don't really know what I'm doing, neither does Sid. We're just trying to work it out as we go along but it's very exciting that we've got that first three months sorted now. <laughs> sun is shining outside and I have just ran my first ever 5k so I'm in an amazing mood right now. I've only just started getting into running so I took it super slow this morning because I've been struggling to control my heart rate and my breathing like my heart rate shoots up so high and stays high the whole time I'm running so I think I'm running a bit too fast even though it feels very slow when I'm doing it. So today I took it even slower than that and really tried to pace myself and keep my heart rate and breathing under control and it really worked and I felt super good so decided to try and push myself and do 5k. Running is the only kind of exercise as well that I found really gives me endorphins after it because everyone says that exercise does but when I'm weight training I don't find I really get it. I suppose doing yoga I do but that's more of a zen feeling rather than endorphins but after I've done a run I feel amazing. The only thing is it does take quite a chunk out of my morning. It's currently 20 past 10 and I'm yet to head into uni so this is a little bit later than I would normally go in but I do want to fit both things in and 
and make running part of my routine so I think I'm just gonna have to stay a little bit later at the library when I'm doing a run in the morning. At 11 I've got a statistics meeting because I want to run through all the data analysis that I've done and just double check that I've been doing the right tests and if there's anything that I've missed before I start finalizing the write-up for it. I was working on the write-up yesterday and my goal for this week is to finish it by the end of tomorrow. If you watched my vlog a few weeks ago and you saw how I've set up my Easter plan, I've kind of set mini deadlines for each of the chapters of my dissertation. So I want to finish the data analysis chapter by Friday and then by the end of next week I think I wanted to have finished my discussion and my conclusion. So hopefully after my meeting today I will be on track to finish that chapter unless I find that I've done it all wrong and have missed a load of stuff which is a high possibility but let's hope not. Friday today and I'm about to head off to the library again. My statistics meeting yesterday went really well. He basically said that I'd done everything that I needed to do and it all looked pretty good to him. So I've been getting on with my write-up of the results but that has probably been the hardest bit so far because no tea, no shade, but the business school has given us literally no guidance on how they're expecting our analysis to be written up. And different referencing styles require slightly different reporting styles. And I literally cannot find how to lead Harvard reference the analysis that I've done because I did something called a hierarchical, I think that's how you say it, regression and I don't think it's that common so I'm really struggling to find examples of how to actually report the results. So, so far I feel like everything I'm writing is just a complete guess but hopefully I'm gonna finish at least a first draft of that today. I've accepted the fact that I'm gonna have to come back to all of these chapters right at the end in a few weeks time. My original plan was to get them fully finished in the time that I had allocated for each but I just don't think that's that realistic. But tonight I'm doing something very exciting. It's the start of my birthday celebrations. My birthday is next week on Wednesday or it'll already have gone by the time this vlog is up. For my birthday present, Sid booked puppy yoga, which is something that I've always wanted to do since I discovered that it exists. It combines two of my favorite things and I think the staffy puppies tonight because they change the breed of puppies like every few weeks or so so that is really gonna get me through the day today to know that at the end of it there's gonna be puppies so I'm probably gonna montage everything else from here on and say goodbye to you now once again I'm sorry that this has been a slightly shorter vlog and nothing interesting has really happened but I do hope you still enjoyed it if you have make sure to subscribe for the rest of the productive uni diaries and also follow me on my TikTok and my Instagram. I've been posting pretty frequently on TikTok recently and I'm also doing a day in the life today and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!